All right, fig lovers, this is Ross, the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're gonna talk about overwatering fig trees. And hopefully I'm gonna give you guys some confidence that your fig tree isn't being overwatered and actually might need the opposite. It might need more water. Can anyone spot the problem fig tree in this pile of trees I have right here? It's kind of hard to see, but there is one tree in here that has yellow leaves. And this is a sign, by the way, these yellowing lower leaves is a sign of overwatering and underwatering. And this can be very confusing because of that for a lot of people. And uh, I just want to say that at this time of the year, this is kind of a foolproof way of knowing. It's 90 degrees. It's beginning of July. It's very, very warm here in the Philadelphia area. When the temperatures are this warm, it's almost always a lack of water. It's pretty much impossible to overwater a fig tree at this time of the year. They are drought tolerant, and I've said this many times, they have fibrous root systems that they're actually quite susceptible because of that fibrous thin roots that they have that typically are on the surface of the soil or in the top 12 inches of the soil. If you have a, a fig planted in a really waterlogged place, or if it's in a container and it's really waterlogged, you're gonna start seeing a lot of root rot. If you, your soil gets these anaerobic conditions in it that's quite common, especially in pots, you're gonna end up seeing that anaerobic condition that leads to root rot and then kills the roots of the tree, which then eventually you see in the top of the tree where a lot of the leaves and figs start to die and then the whole tree really will die. So you don't wanna have those anaerobic conditions. That's really, I think, the key there with you know, preventing overwatering is really limiting water to begin with, but having more air in the soil. But generally now, as I said, we're not really having these problems. We can't really overwater the soil because the water is obviously draining out of our pots, but it's also being really sucked up very quickly because our trees have a ton of leaves on them. I mean, for better or for worse, some of them are a little uglier, maybe they have a little bit more fig mosaic virus on them, maybe they have this, maybe they have that, maybe there's a little bit of browning on it. But generally, if they have fruits on them and they're growing, or they were very recently growing, it's impossible that they were being overwatered. Root rot is a problem in the soil that develops over a period of time. It doesn't happen like that. You know, if I spent all day watering one tree in a container, I would still not overwater it. What would end up happening actually is that I would probably devoid the soil of all nutrients because it would just wash out of the pot. But I'm telling you, if I took a pot and just submerged it in a bucket of water, I still would not overwater it, even having it in there for an entire day. So, uh, you know, overwatering is really a concern that happens at other times of the year. When things are much colder, when we have less leaves on the trees. When the trees are in a fragile state, they just wake up from dormancy or they are dormant or it's only 40, 50 or 60 degrees outside. And maybe we have really small, scraggly, weak trees. But a tree like these that are full of lush, beautiful leaves, there is just no chance that we can overwater them. Now you can overwater really young ones. And these young ones are going to be really, really fragile trees, kind of like this, where this tree is like a small stick. <laughs> it's given me lots of problems over the year, this, this, over the years, this tree, believe it or not. And it's just really, really sad. Um, look how many leaves are on that. Now, if I had a tree like this, I could definitely overwater it. The soil will turn anaerobic potentially because there would just be too much moisture in there. And we'll lose that air, we'll get the root rot that we mentioned, and this tree will slowly degrade in health and die. Same thing with this one. Another tree I've had for years, a white Madeira number one, that just may never recover. <laughs> um, sometimes you really should just let go of certain trees. This is a tree I repotted, I think, this, this season from a one gallon, and it hasn't done well. It, it didn't like the soil I put it in. Actually, no, this is another white Madeira number one I've had in a pot for years. So, you know, sometimes these trees, because they're, they have such a terrible root system to them and they have such a terrible soil condition, it's easier to overwater them. It's also very easy to kill them. 
And so generally, even if I had some of these other ones here that are quite young, this is a pile of trees I have that are on the younger side. Even like a tree like this would be very difficult to overwater at this point because of the temperature. Now, if it was 50 degrees outside, I could potentially overwater this, but look how healthy the leaves are. It's growing. It's even got new fig nodes here forming, new fig buds, the double bumps, as we like to call it. This is another example here of a young tree uh, that was pruned back really hard, didn't have a whole lot of growth on it. We rejuvenation pruned it. We have one really healthy shoot. We topped it. And look how healthy and vigorous the leaves are. So generally, we're not going to see this overwatering condition at this time. And I just wanted to kind of let everybody know, you know, I've been getting a lot of these messages about this problem and it's not a problem right now. We don't really have to worry about overwatering. Please do yourself a favor. These trees need about a fourth of a gallon to a half a gallon of water every day. The little ones here, the ones that are struggling, they need less, maybe a cup of water every day, something around that. Uh, but certainly the other ones that are fruiting, they're lush, they're big, they're beautiful. If your tree starts to droop down like that, you need, it needs water. And uh, all the leaves do that rather than just a few of the top leaves start to droop. The whole tree is drooping. That's a sign of underwatering. So a sign of overwatering would be the same yellowing that we looked at, but instead you would see it um, on a tree that really, really is small, struggling, fragile, and it's cold outside. So thanks for watching here, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. See you for the next video. Take care, guys.